Hey y'all, welcome back to Tatum Farms. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. Uh, today I'm gonna show you, um, the other day, I had the last two nights off, I go back to work here in about an hour and a half. But uh, I made a temporary um, pen for the guineas. As you tell they from previous videos, they were in a smaller, smaller pen and they were just, uh, they were outgrowing it. I tried to move them once and crows kept on flying in and uh pretty much just taking their heads off is what was happening so they needed another pin something bigger and i just threw this temporary pin together because i'm going to start working on a barn with chicken pins on one side now this barn that i plan on building it'll probably take me a few years to build it because we're just going to build a little bit at a time just cash flow it I don't like banks, don't like taking out loans. So it's just easier, if you got the cash to do it, do it when you get the cash to do it, instead of just taking out a loan and building the whole thing then, then you gotta worry about that debt, you gotta pay back. But I'm gonna show you the uh, pin we made them since we got them, got them moved, they seem like they're doing a lot better. I still need to do a little bit more on it, put them some roots in there to get them off the ground. Let's get these other chickens fed and then I'll take you around the other side of the pen and show you it. Game chickens are doing good. He's starting to get a little bit of his tail feathers back. <laughs> and this pen right here with this hen and them, the two younger ones. I, there was another hen in here. I had to take her out. Um, they started pecking on her head. And once they start bullying a chicken, especially if they got a start pecking on the head, drawing a little bit of blood or anything like that, it don't matter if they're game or just regular chickens. They'll, they'll just keep on doing it until they pretty much kill them. So I kicked her out. She's actually been running, running up around the house somewhere. <laughs> And uh, I'll let that heal back up, and then eventually we'll be able to put her back in the pen with some, with the chickens. Um, if you notice, I fed something in this pen. Let me show you what I put in there now. Them are the three chicks that were in the, in the little brooding box in the well house. So they're they're big enough now. They were able to come out here. I think they like it a lot better. They got more room. I was needing to get them out of the well house because I've got some more chicks hatching. It don't look like my hatch rate's gonna be very good this time either. I candled some and some look like they they would hatch and some look like they are only about maybe halfway developed. I may be wrong, I hope I am. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I was needing to get them chicks out that way the chicks were fixing hatch, they need to go in the well house just because really they may not, as hot as it gets here in Oklahoma, I just need maybe a heat lamp, just a little bit of the night, not much. So, but I need to open that up in there. And uh, so it was a good time to move these out for right now. I'm still eventually gonna build more of these pins here. I love the way these are um, because they're so, they're safe, secure, but they cost a little bit more to build. So, but they're doing good. I moved them in there yet late yesterday evening, so. They ain't even been in there 24 hours yet, but they, they're they loving loving it, running it around. Everything's so hot right now, I'm panting. It don't matter if they got water. It looks like they, they're about to die just because it's so hot here in Oklahoma. But it's that time of year here. It happens every year, so we're still blessed with green grass, though. So I try not to mess with any animals or the birds when it's super hot. don't want to stretch them out and have a, have a heat stroke. Oh, there comes Striker. Coming to say hi. Hey, tell the camera hi. I heard you just a while ago. Tell him hi. Camera shy. As you can see, I need to get eggs out of there. That little hen right there, she went broody. And uh, she, she's trying to been trying to set on all of them 
but she just ain't big enough. Yesterday, the uh, or yesterday morning, the cows, I guess it was the cows, pushed on this pen and opened it up. So all the chickens in there got out. And all the hens I had in there last night, because I turned all the other chickens out, they went back in there last night. And But my, my rooster didn't. So I need to get him and move him back over here so I'll have more more eggs to hatch. I'll, uh, I need to move that little one into a pen somewhere. I just don't have room anywhere right now to put her where she can just sit on them and hatch hatch some eggs for us because she went broody before but I didn't have no eggs to put under so I need to this time to see if she'll hatch just some out but look at that what's behind me y'all let me turn the camera around so you can see all right there's the pen I just threw together the other day right beside the turkey pen it's just a two by four panel and uh, it's five foot tall five foot wide by 16 feet long because these these side panels and the top panels are full panels i didn't want to cut them because i'm going to eventually use them on our barn that we'll build that will actually be right in this area here you know, i'm going to try to line it up somewhat with the house and uh it'll be right in there somewhere but the guineas were just getting so big i needed to do something with them you can see this is actually an old door off of uh, our barn that's located at the other property. This is just some old sheet metal I had off some jobs that they was going to throw away. And I just kept because I knew eventually I'll use them. And the guineas, they're loving it. I still need to put some roost or something in there so they can get off the ground to protect them a little bit more. But they're just enjoying the room able to run you'll see them out here they'll fly to one side to the other of the pen and uh, hopefully hopefully this will keep them contained for a little while i mean there's a top on it now so nothing can go over the top and get them the only thing i'm concerned about is especially on the ground at night or something since they, they can't get up and roost um, right now but i'll get that fixed here in the next day or so but maybe a snake or something going through there. But everything else, unless it's some little bitty varmint, they should should be all right. These panels right here, man, they're expensive. Just for one of these panels was about $65. That's why I didn't want to, I cut one of them. That's why I didn't want to cut them and anything, leave them the uh, regular length and height. That way I can use them on the barn. When I do need to cut them, they'll be, they'll be full panels. I don't have to piece anything together. But there they are. Let's get these things fed. They probably won't eat much right now since it's so hot. But get them fed so they can eat later this evening. I don't know if y'all can see what's inside the turkey pen now, but if you notice, that little pool's not in there no more. We got something bigger and better. Well, not bigger, but it's better. <laughs> I know, Tom, that's right. You like it, don't you? But let me show you what we changed out. They got them a turtle to swim in now. I don't know if y'all remember them turtle. They used to, I guess used to be sandboxes. We got one of them put in there. And they're not tearing it up, not yet anyways. And the right girls. Y'all like that new turtle? The other night we was over at my wife's mom and stepdad's house. And I was actually picking up a donkey. We got a new donkey. He's over at the 20 acres. And I've been look been needing one. I ain't really been looking, been needing one over there for a little bit because we got a problem with dogs and stuff coming over on that property and he'll keep them ran off and so i eventually gonna move the cows back over there or get a few more to put over there and that donkey will just keep 
keep wild dogs from coming in because over there it's not the best neighborhood about a mile away and people just turn their dogs loose and if any of y'all know how when you get a pack of dogs what they'll do to animals run them and stuff it's never never good and with me not being right there all time i can't keep an eye on them every second of the day so this donkey will keep keep the eye on them for me so y'all get to see him probably in the next video i'll go over there and check on them and do a video for you let's get these ducks fed they're talking to me they're hot like everything else is Every now and then with that top being off of there, I'll get a, get a chicken out, but they go back pretty easy. I don't really care when they're out. I just don't want hawks or anything else coming in to, uh, to kill them. So if y'all got any recommendations on tops for chicken pens, hey, I'm all ears because that one, that one lasted about a year, which is fine for the price I paid for it. But I'm always looking for better things and may last longer may do a little bit better job so if y'all got anything just let me know um i gotta go get everything ready for work tonight and so i don't need to show y'all anything in the well house because there's nothing in there not yet but make sure y'all stay tuned because hopefully i'll have some chicks to show you hopefully they'll have a few hatch out i'm still Man, them incubators just ain't what they used to be. I think what's happening is, is my temperature's going up and down, and it don't take a degree or two to mess the whole incub incubator up on hatching them eggs. So I would love one of them big stand-up ones, but I just can't afford it right now. One of these days, one of these days when the YouTube channel blows up, making money off of it, y'all, we're going to have so much fun on this place with new stuff, bigger stuff. Well, maybe not bigger stuff. More stuff. But anyways, hey, I appreciate y'all watching. And um, I got sad news. I got sad news. See my pumpkin patch? There ain't no pumpkins in there. My next video is going to be on, or may be on, we'll see if anything big happens between now and the next video, is doing too much on the farm. Not enough hours in the day. And... I've always said there's not enough hours in the day, but there's enough hours in the day to get done what God wants you to get done. So if you don't get all your stuff done, one, it wasn't meant to be, or two, you just have way too much stuff going. And my main deal is number two. I've got way too much stuff going on this place. It's kind of like a little kid when they put all that food on their plate, their eyes are bigger than their stomach. Well... I got so much stuff I want to do here. I just don't have enough time. And when I don't get all this done because I think I can, my wife don't like living with me because I get aggravated, irritated, because I'm trying to do all this stuff with no sleep. So work's been working me 50 to 60 plus hours a week. So by the time you do that, add working nights onto that by taking care of everything, adding more stuff like pumpkins, my pumpkins are over there, y'all. They're over there. They're all dead. It was a sad day watching them die. But I just ain't had time for them. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the next episode we may discuss on prioritizing the farm. Um, that may be the next video. If not, there's going to be something next. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Click the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell. Oh, and subscribe. I've noticed... A lot of y'all ain't subscribing. I've got this deal that shows me on... It don't show me that you're subscribed, but it shows me who's watching the video. And 70% of y'all that's watching this video is not subscribed. So make sure you subscribe. I appreciate it. And God bless.